The wheels are now in motion for what would be one of the biggest U.S. IPOs by a Chinese company, Tencent Music has filed to list on Wall Street. Now, Tencent dominates music streaming in China. The offering would be worth up to a billion dollars. The company, of course, is worth much more. The company is looking to repeat the success of Spotify, which is up 35% since its shares went public back in April. Hi, Jürgen Parson is one of Spotify's earliest investors. Lots to cover on this. Uh, let's talk about though. Let's begin with the Tencent music. Now, Spotify and Tencent have a quid pro quo holding in each other. That is correct. Um, do you... Do you see it as a, as a plus, a minus, or neutral that Tencent Music would be moving to list on the same exchange that, uh, that Spotify is? No, I think it uh, certainly is good for both uh, Tencent and Spotify. I think the, the paradigm of streaming music is something that uh, is a bit of a new model that needs to be uh, under fully understood by the capital markets. And, and I think Spotify was uh, pioneering that. And now Tencent is coming to the market as well with a slightly different model, though. In the sense that? That they are predominantly advertising finance, whereas Spotify is a subscription service. Right. If Tencent Music started to grow bigger in the West and started to take Spotify on on your own turf, that would be a even bigger problem. Well, I would say that uh, in any market, uh, you need to uh, own up to what the co consumers are expecting. And I think that Spotify has really been uh, exceptional at understanding what the Western customers are, are really expecting from them. And I think uh, the way that the music market in, the, in Chinese uh, uh, markets, it's actually different. So, than, so, yeah. so you wouldn't imagine Tencent Music would encroach? Well, I, I wouldn't rule it out, for sure. And, and if I were uh, the leaders of Tencent or, or uh, Spotify, for that matter, I would uh, see every market as, as a potential market. The Spotify IPO, it was, it was, it was bizarre, to say the least, the, uh, the, the direct listing mechanism. Uh, we covered it widely when it uh, actually happened. But the market is like Spotify. And I think the achievement in Spotify is that it has managed to thrive against very large players like Apple that might have been expected, or Amazon even, that might have expected to squash it? No, I think uh, when you are specialized in something like Spotify is, uh, then you do have an, an edge because you can develop entirely for that particular purpose. And, and you can see that Apple, for instance, they have a lot of uh, different objectives to uh, meet when they release a product and, uh, and legacy to integrate to, to and, and so on and so forth. So I think that Spotify inherently has an, an advantage there to be focused. You're a venture capitalist. Tell me, what's the next thing I should be looking at? What's the next Spotify or elsewhere in the market. Yeah, you? so we, yeah, we're investors in uh, uh, Fubo TV. Fubo TV, which is an over the top streaming service for live sports and you are on there as well. Uh, uh, with you. yeah. And uh, it's a phenomenally uh, successful model to uh, bring streaming to uh, to devices, digital devices of, of sports, which you typically only can get through cable today. Good to see you, sir. Thank you very much indeed. Fubu. Fubo. Fubo. Yeah. Fubo. Thank you. Thank you.